Vince over at Modern Music Studio and today I'm going to do a guitar tutorial on how to play uh, Gold on the Ceiling by the Black Keys. The first thing we should maybe do is we could play a power chord, doesn't matter where, like 5 and 7 on the A and D strings, D power chord. And it's good to practice, make sure you can do this. Kind of that old blues type of thing. Or like the old rock and roll. Because the intro we need to do that. And the way it's played is this. So we're just starting on our G chord, going down to F, then going down to D, same pattern, you got to do a slide, and then same thing on B flat to C, and that takes us into the song, it's the intro. Um, song is really only three main chords, we have our G, F, which I like to hold down that G note as well in this one. Kind of gives it like a chunkier sound. And it takes us back to our G. So we go, and we want that um, swing kind of rhythm. You can think like one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, or like long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Because we don't want, it's not straight, it's not even. Okay, so we want, that twice. I palm mute these chords too. And you can, you don't always have to hold that G uh, down there if you don't want to. You just hold your regular C or you can bar it. And those chords co coincidentally take us into what we're going to, to be playing in the verse. We play those same chords in that order. Once you do it twice, you're going to change it and you're going to go F, C, and stay on G twice. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Fairly simple. Just make sure you got that swing rhythm. Um, palm mute those chords. You don't want to. We're not there yet. Just palm muting, swing rhythm. Two, three, four. G, F, C, G twice, and then F, C, G, G. Now that takes us into the next part. Um, I guess you'd call it a pre-chorus, and we're gonna just do, uh, I do these as power chords. So you have one, three, three, we have F, C, G, G, F, G. So you go. And then F, C, uh, F, G. So the whole thing. Two, three, four, and again. You can hold that last one, and that takes you into the chorus, which we're going to do what we did in the verse, at least the first part of the verse, just over those chords. And I, I don't like to palm mute these. You want the chorus to kind of be a bigger sound. Okay, once you get there, they're going to play that again two times, um, but if you, we didn't talk about lead parts yet, but there's a lead part that comes up right there. So you want to think, um, you want to be on your eighth fret on your C note, and you want to go so so eight ten eight. And what I like to do is hold both of these strings with this finger, my index finger, so I can go versus going. You have to move really quick. Just hold them both down, and we're going to go eight ten eight. Um, I like to do that as a hammer on pull off. Play the eight on the B string. And then we're coming up to your B flat, 11th fret on the B string. So you have, okay? 
So once you kind of got that down, um, I'll just go ahead and play the whole thing for you, but it's, it's that kind of phrase every time. So we go. So to play the rest of that, you go back to 811, and then you start it again, 8, 8 this time. Then you can go, whoops. So 10, 8, 11, and then you start it again for the third time. Now instead of going back, if you know your, your box three shape, just follows those notes. And I like to do, and kind of hold both of those on the 10th fret on the G and D string. Okay, so that's really the most complicated part of the song, just kind of a cool lick to play. Um, I don't always even go like, I'll kind of like hang on that first note versus that's kind of more straight. That type of thing there. I forgot to mention this too, since we're talking about uh, lead parts, this is a way simpler lead part. But in the introduction of the song, when they're playing those chords, after you do the, all that stuff, you let this play through. Okay, so you're thinking G minor, pentatonic, and I like to do this in the, the box five shape, and it's a pretty simple kind of lead part. You're gonna go, Okay, so you're just staying in that, in that box five. For this next part, you do want to change positions to be able to play three, six, three, your G, B flat, G right there. So you have, so the whole thing. back and I always kind of fancy this up to end it but you can just kind of end it right there and then you're back to your verse okay so we talked about the chorus of the song we left off there and then that little riff there and that's over two times of this once you do that you're strumming these chords, I should say. You go back to the palm muting for your next verse. Do everything we already did. So two times here. And then remember, the end of the verse, G, F, C, G. After it does that twice, we start on F. F, C, G twice. Back to our power chord part, F, F, C, C, G, G, F, G. Okay, so you have F, C, G, F, G. Two, three, four. You can hold that last one just like last time. You may hear me kind of just doing that for timing purposes. You don't have to do any of that stuff. It's not in the song. I just kind of do it as I play it. Um, you go back into the chorus. All this right here. They'll do that lead part again after you finish the chorus. So practice up on that. Um, and then it's going to just do nothing new. We're just going to eventually go back into this. And there going to do your two, three, four. Two, three, four, back to your chorus. And the chorus will take you home. C, we'll pretend we did this a bunch of times. Just ends on our G chord there. And that's about it with this one. The, by far, I think the hardest part, this is not the hardest part. 
all that stuff, it's kind of getting that slide down to be really perfect, especially at the tempo of the song. So really kind of practice. Like you have to slide pretty fast there. You can't, you don't want this where you kind of slowly get there and you're hitting other notes in between. Point A to point B as fast as you can. And if you have smaller hands and that's kind of a tough reach, just keep working on that stretch there. You'll eventually get it. Um, ends on the G. All right. Thanks all for watching. Um, hope you enjoy this one as much uh, as I enjoy playing it. And I will see you next time. and subscribe.